All right, so uh, <laughs> day one of the SEPTA strike. Yes, it is day one. Yes, it happened last night. Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, November 1st, day 682. Yep. Welcome to November. Welcome to SEPTA strike, shit. Um, I'm going to go try to take a train. And I say try because it's been very bad this morning. And I, th and I don't think I've gotten any cancellations, but... Uh, I've seen a lot of shit that's like, uh, well, SEPTA just put an announcement out the, a little while ago that said the entire regional rail system was subject to a 45-minute delay due to heavy traffic. That's 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah. That's bad. There's, I know for a while, one line was up to 60 minutes, and uh, I don't think that the uh, train line has been below 30 for most of the morning. Anyway. I am heading to Cornwall Heights to go take my train, and uh, my biggest concern right now is that there's going to be no parking. I mean, because just people drive from all over to go take this train, and I could see that easily happening. Because, I mean, there's basically no parking downtown. And if you're wondering what's not running, I don't know if I covered that yesterday. What's not running is the L, the buses, the sub, the city buses, that is. Not all buses, but... Basically anything with a route number under 90 is not running, including the little late-night Cornwall Heights shuttle bus that I've taken before. Not the little ones that just run, that run you to and from your cars, but like the ones that actually run very late at night or early in the morning to take people in and out of the city. Those aren't running. Uh, the subway isn't running. The city trolleys are also not running, as opposed to the trolleys out by 69th Street, and also the Route 100 is running. So that leaves basically the regional rails as the only thing within city limits that's actually running. That's bad. That's very bad. And um, because the regional rails handle a disproportionately no low number of traffic to what the L and the subways handle, because the L is... The L handles more traffic in a day than the rest of the regional rails combined, I do believe. And the subway handles more than the L. And all of those people have no way of getting downtown at the moment other than the regional rail. Which is what's accounting for all of this. Yeah. Can you see why this is bad? Look, this guy's parking here. There's not even a parking space there. Is that a bad sign of things to come? I hope not. I mean, there's no parking in this first lot already, guaranteed, going to go, oh my god, there's a septa bus here, what the hell? Oh my god. Is there any parking? I have no idea. I don't even know if I'm going to include that part. I feel, was feeling very angry at the moment. Why are there septibuses floating around here? Did we fill Cornwall Heights? No, thankfully, no. Okay. Uh, I guarantee you that I'm not going to be able to... Uh, to ride the shuttle today just because that train incoming is 20 minutes late. So, no point in waiting. Yeah, I will. Okay, so traffic apparently is less bad than I thought. Don't know why that septa bus was floating around the parking lot, but whatever it was. Okay. Angry being a bitch about the septa strike over for the moment. Time to go into town. Um. I accidentally created a, an infinite void in the PowerPoint slide. I'm not sure how I did it, but I left it there because I thought it was funny. Um, it's literally live updating, so I can even move it around, and it's fun. But anyway, um, my presentation. So what about, what's my next slide? Oh, yeah, there's, an, there's a lovely little quote on here that uh, I wrote when I wrote this a few weeks ago, and I don't remember what it says, but um, I'm pretty sure it's lovely and that everybody should love it. All right, so selected works of mine. Uh, I have done quite a few uh, movies and 
shows and other things that are online, and you might recognize some of them. They're, these are all actually legitimate titles of things I've made, and I'm pretty proud of them. There's one on there that's called Stuck. Can I, can I do the thing where it, like, apparently not. Oh, no. Give everything's away. But I have a film up there called Stuck, which is the fourth one down on the uh, uh, left there. And that was actually one that I made senior year of high school and actually submitted to a film festival called the Greenfield Youth Film Festival, which actually does, which is a Philadelphia-based kids film festival. And um, I got notes back to it. They were just like, yeah, it's good. It didn't win or anything, but that was about it. Some of my classmates submitted and they got actual notes and they were like, yeah, it's good. And I watched it recently and uh, I'm not sure I agree with that rating. But anyway, um, so here's kind of a timeline of my, my recent work. So I was born in 1995. Uh, as you'll notice, I started filming things in 2008 and came to Drexel like most of you in 2014. Uh, Robert Kopp in 2017 won the West Best Narrative section. Uh, you can feel free to challenge me on that if you so want. I took over the world in 2024. Uh, in 2030, I released Robert Cop 37, but there's no 36 sequels in between. And then in 2041, Bethany invented time travel, came back, and accidentally created a Robert Cop negative one. Um, I might have accidentally wrote Robert Cop 2 while doing this. And uh, yeah, pretty satisfied with this. We'll go over Robert Cop in a little bit. Um, oh yeah, I, life accomplishments. They haven't happened yet. We'll get there. Don't worry. Uh, all right, so some of my actual inspirations this time. Those of you who know me know that I talk about Airplane and the Naked Gun quite frequently. And a lot of my influences, especially in Robert Cop, came from these two shows. Like, I was sitting out there with Liz, my production designer, before we went and filmed Robert Cop, looking at different scenes from these movies and being like, this is what I want to do with, with design. So now, in terms of more of a, a humor style, I like to balance myself between Retsu Prey and the Sticky Bandits. Um, yeah, they're, they're not to be confused. I've met the Rexy Prey and not the Sticky Bandits, though. They, they do look kind of similar. Uh, also, I'm a big fan of the show Whose Line Is It Anyway? And that's where a lot of the stupid shit that I say out loud comes from. And I saw Colin Mockery and Brad Sherwood both pictured here, actually, in a show recently. But that's all for the slideshow. So I actually want to show a little bit of Robert Cop because... Oh, uh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. This is the reason why I'm going to invent time travel. I actually really want to see your narrative. Robert Cop is my narrative. Okay, great. Yay! It's Wait, Robert we're Cop. we're about to watch. This is your narrative. Yes. Okay. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, rip. Yes, the poor cat featured in the thumbnail has since passed away. But... Oh, dear Lord, everybody. See what time it is there? A minute before 11. Want to know what time I got out of class? 10 minutes before 9. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been quite a day. I told myself when I got back to 30th, I was like, I'm going to hop on either the first R3 or the first R7 that comes, and I don't really care which one, because whichever one is going to get me home. And uh, they wound up canceling both R3s that I think were supposed to come at 818 and 918, respectively. Um, yeah, they wound up canceling them both. Or was it 918 and 1018? Whatever it was, they canceled two R3s right in a row that would have actually come in the time I was at 30th. So I was at 30th for nearly two hours. Actually, more than two hours. Because this was... The train I got off now, I'm pretty sure, was actually supposed to be the 10 o'clock train to 30th. That came at, like, 1015... And because traffic was so high, because there's more people got off that train at Bridesburg than I've ever seen get off at Bridesburg before, even during rush hour. There was just so many people getting off, it took like three minutes for some of these usually small stops, and it pushed us back even further, and that's why here I am sitting here on my car at 11 o'clock at night when that train should have been in, and I should have been home half an hour ago. This track is a nightmare, to say the very least. Um... But one thing that they did today that I pretty much find is unforgivable is they tried to actually block access to the rail, like the regional rail. Because as I mentioned, I think either yesterday or the day before, there's two parts to set, or multiple parts to set, but there's not exactly two. But the regional rail part, where I ride, and all of the city buses and the trolleys and the 
uh, subway and the L are all actually separate parts. They're not the same entity. So that's why the regional rails are still running. And they're the only thing to still run. But, um, yeah. It's been, it's been crowded. Um, the worst delay I saw today said it, one train was operating an hour and, or not, excuse me, not an hour, 155 minutes late. That's not one hour, that is more than two hours. That's more than two and a half hours, actually. That's ridiculous. But and all of that, I think, is caused by the fact that the labor unions decided it would be a good idea to block the rail... The, the, like, the protesting labor unions decided it would be a good idea to block the entrances to the regional rail lots. Cassetta literally had to go get a court order to tell the fucking unions that they couldn't block those roads. Like... And this is not the regional rail's fault at all. They they have more traffic than they can ever do. They had so much traffic, they actually could not keep up with the displays downtown that were telling people the trains, like how late the trains were, because literally none of the displays were working on the tracks. And the ones that were working, like those big master displays down, were A, not being updated, and B, they couldn't actually display everything because of how late some of the trains were, because those counters can only tick up to 99 minutes. And as I mentioned, there were several trains today that were over 100 minutes late. It's been a nightmare. It's kind of an understatement. It really has been. And no contract yet. So there's no guarantee tomorrow's gonna be any better. I like how we're ending at 666 miles down there. Pretty neat.